You could now create human-like AI avatars that can read text in less than five minutes and completely for free. First, you need to create a Canva account. If you haven't used Canva before, it's been around for a long time, but now it has a lot of different cool AI tools built into it, and you could use it totally for free. So I'll have a link in the description to Canva. Once you sign up to Canva and create an account, all you have to do is come over to the left side of the page and create apps, and it's gonna give you a bunch of different apps to choose from. Now, the one I'm gonna show you is called DID AI Presenter. So you could search over here if you don't see it up here. All you have to do is click on this app and then choose a new design from here. Now here, it may ask you to create a new account for DID. Again, it's a plugin for Canva, but they also have a lot of free credits available. So, so far you don't need to spend any money and you won't have to in this video. And then for suggestions, I'm gonna create a video because this is a talking head video. I'm gonna choose the video option here. Now here on the left side of the page, you'll see a bunch of presenters. That's what shows up first. So you'll select the presenter that you want based on what they look like. We're gonna pick the voice separately. So the face here, the video part and the audio part are two different tabs. So let me just choose this first option over here and then I'll scroll down over here and then it's gonna say, what do you want them to say? So this is where your script's gonna go. So I'm going to take the script that I used in the beginning of this video, I'm gonna input it here. And if you don't have a script ready yet, you could use ChatGPT, for example, to help you come up with the idea or just write the script for you. Then we're gonna choose our language. In this case, I'm gonna choose English, but if you could see over here, there's a whole lot of options available for different languages. Then you wanna choose the voice. So the voice is actually independent from the video, so you wanna make sure you choose a voice that actually goes along with the person that you chose. I'm gonna choose Jenny here. And then the style, there's a bunch of different styles here. So if you're making a tutorial based type of video, maybe the assistant style or the cheerful. I'm gonna choose the friendly style here. And then make sure you preview the speech so you could actually hear it. And then you'll generate the video part. So I'm gonna preview the speech. You can create a human-like AI avatar that can read text in less than five minutes and completely for free. Then you could generate the presenter. Now the credits are coming from DID, so that's the plugin with Canva. So Canva's actually not creating this, it's a plugin through that other app. So you do have to eventually pay, but they do have a lot of free credits. I'm gonna go ahead and create mine. And then it's gonna add it right to your canvas here. So you could actually grab this avatar and you could go ahead and resize it to kind of fill your canvas if you want. You could make it as big as you want like this or you could just kind of leave it on the side if you have another video that you want to play in the background. So let me show you that. I'm going to move it over here, maybe to the side, then I'll show you what it looks like in a second. Then what I could do over here is go to the upload tab and here under this tab, I could add my own video and put it in the background. So let's say this is the video I want to put in the background. I'm going to go ahead and right click on this video and I'm going to move it actually. I'm going to move it to the back. So I'm going to go to layer and set to backward or set to back. So if I move it back, then the avatar is going to show up on the top over here. And then I could stretch this out as well. So I could make sure it fits my canvas. So it's gonna fit my canvas like this. And the avatar that I have is gonna show up on top of that video. So if I was to press play on it, it's basically going to explain what's happening in the background video, but you don't have to do that. You could use it completely on its own as a video. And the other option you have here, I'll delete the background video just to show you. You could go to this backgrounds tab and you could choose backgrounds like this. So if I choose a background like this, I could have my avatar on one part of the page. And if you've ever used Canva before, you have lots of different options. So you could add text, for example, you could add different elements to the same video. So I could basically move different elements like this over here to kind of design my video the way I want. And then I could go to the audio tab here and I could add background music too. Canva has a ton of different free background music options. So you could choose based on different genres that you see over here or just search and then add one. So if I was to add, for example, this song, I could grab it and I could drag it in the bottom right here, the music option right here. And then I could choose the section of it that I want in my video. So in this case, I'll just choose the beginning. And then if I wanna change the volume to turn it into background music, I could basically change it from the 100% down to 10%. It becomes my background music. So I could take a listen again, make sure it's good. Next, you could add a page, which is basically a second clip. So you could basically create another AI avatar because this has a length of how many characters it's gonna read for you. 
based on each time you generate one. Right now, the length is 500 characters. So if you wanted to add more, all you have to do is add a new page, come over here, generate a new AI avatar, drop it in, maybe the same background, different background, full screen. And then once you're done with your video and you've actually created your talking head video here with the AI avatar, you could go ahead and press preview right here to watch the whole video. And then when you're done, just press share. And what I recommend is you actually download this to your own computer. So press download right here. It's gonna give you a bunch of options, but MP4 video is what you want. It's gonna suggest that. The quality is 1080p. There are some upgraded options that you could choose, the paid version of Canva. But so far, everything I've done is free, including download, and I'm gonna press download. And it's gonna take a second and download it to my computer. I could upload it from there to any platform that I want, including my own website or to YouTube. And the quality is only going to improve from here, and I'm guessing pretty soon it's gonna look very photorealistic. Give it a try, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.